Hello and welcome back Squirrel Nation. I hope you're all having an outstanding day. I just got done with a great stream today. Um, we ground our way to King 3 and this is actually the game that I did uh, hit King 3 and I ended up playing Glacier Knights. So anyways, this is some great gameplay with a lot of commentary for me to talk about how Knights fit in the current meta and why I do like Glacier Knights. Um, Following that up, I also have an infographic for how I would recommend you approach uh, Glacier Knights. So I will be adding that in the description for anybody that wants to check that out. Anyways, with that said, let's dive into the gameplay. I am very tempted to lock. I lock. Because I get two uh, very awesome mechs to go along with my God of War. So Skybreaker and Heaven Bomber, you saw last game, Heaven Bomber. If I get a Mana Crystal and I am Heaven Bomber with a uh, God of War, uh, watch out enemies. Not last game, the game before last game, but. So also Six Warriors is in my mind. Um, I will just say that right now. Like I said, I think it's probably the most consistent in the meta right now. So I will be targeting it as my composition, just like I used to do with Feather. So um, I will obviously, I like, if the game gives me all knights, if the game gives me another comp, I'm not going to reject it. But if if I'm just kind of middling and not sure what to do, I'm going to uh, tend to go towards uh, six warrior beasts. Oh, and the other thing I was saying about the flexibility of six warriors is the fact that it's flexible in synergies, right? I can introduce in my Naga or my marine synergy. I can introduce in glacier. I can introduce in beast right you you can there's so many different synergies you can introduce you can introduce warlock um so to me i highly value that wow that's i almost say i lock this screen too here's the thing i'm not gonna get pairs but now i can get quality um and evil knight is very good with hunters because i get an agaris hunter and then all of a sudden I have the Garrus Synergy early game, which is very, very strong. That's going to mess up my Divinity though, but I'm gonna, my plan is to switch him out for the Garrus Ranger. So Magic Resistance I always put on my Squishies, or almost always put on my Squishies. Good, Strip Armor all day, every day. Let's do it. So grab that. That also will let me grab my um, warrior up. Let's do this. And actually, I want a tank over... So two tanks because the um, dwarf sniper does a lot of damage. So, And we'll split these to our tanks to sustain. Um, yeah, and we're going to bias towards warriors like we said. The goblin I'll still hold on to because if I get pairs, but yep. Yeah. So this should be a win from quality. Because he does have Goblin Mech, which is very strong synergy, but the fact that, oh no, my Hunter didn't. Okay, the ult, the ults, the ults lost it for me. RNG lost. Um, he, he ulted the one, the Soul Breaker got the Goblin buff, so that's why he didn't die. Normally he would die to my Dwarf Sniper. Um, he didn't die because he was the one who got the Goblin buff, so that, that's what I mean by that RNG. Um, cause my expectation was the door sniper would kill the, um, the, 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 the soul breaker. Okay. Mm. Mage, I like you. Let's see. Goblin mechs, lots of goblin mech stuff. Look at a bench to know what a person's truly thinking. So we got somebody thinking assassins, we got somebody thinking mage or, or, sorry, hunter or assassin, we have orc, okay. So there we go, oh, two star ultimate, just kill him, okay, cool, that's fine, lose low health, that's good, I'm happy to lose just a little health, pair, Okay, two. Do, 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 That's a pair. One pair, two pair. And we're in between things. Mm. I 
actually on it. Oh, okay, yeah, it's fine. I just wanted to introduce another tank. And the fact that I'm not pairing anything means that I, if I don't, um, if I don't level, I'm probably going to lose a lot of health, and I don't want to lose a lot of health. I'm okay losing the rounds early game, but I don't want to lose by like four heroes, right? So we're going to lose this, but it's going to be by three heroes, maybe even two heroes, which is much more acceptable. Um, because if you get too low early, it just makes it so hard. Like your economy is going to be garbage. Just everything is going to be really rough for you. Um, okay, pairs. Um, RNG gods, please look favorably upon me. Actually, I think I even re-roll here, to be honest. Yes. Okay, nice. And we hit the other... Okay, I'm going towards... Um, we're, we're, we're going towards knights at this point. Uh, switch that out. This is nice. Okay. Woo! Woo, baby. Okay, divinity does not go with knights, so goodbye to you. And, and the reason I'm so heavily switching to knights is because I got Argali and Evil Knight, and both of those I count as core, core knights. Whether you go Dragon or whether you go Glacier, both of those are the knights that you really, really are looking for. Um, so so that, that's why. T to me, if I get both of them early, so it's only round 7 and I got both of them, I, I can safely go into knights. And then we look how many people right now are targeting knights, and nobody's targeting, so that's good. So now the question becomes, Dragon Knight or... Um, Dragon Knight or Glacier, right? So that is the question. And we are getting a nice setup for either. Um, Let's look at our DPS meter. So yeah, Dwarf is high, Lightblade's high, but I'm switching that out. Let's just get rid of him because he's sitting on gold and he's not in my long-term plans. And uh, Lightblade still should do well. So for Glacier, for Dragon, for if I get a pair and he's a strong unit, um, let's see where I'm getting contested. Am I getting contested for Glacier? No. Am I getting contested for Dragon? No. Okay, so... Oh, we have one Glacier person right there. So that Divinity, yeah, he, he might target Desperate Doctors, but that's fine. The For for Glacier, I'm not really worried. Like, the Glacier units aren't super good, so I'm not really worried if people get them. As long as I get them to two-star, that's all I care about. I'm not thinking about getting three-star Desperate Doctor, three-star uh, Frost Knight, so... The other good thing about Glacier is the fact that they're so cheap. Uh, and wait a second. Uh, get rid of those health. You have, you have. Let's switch their positions. Main. He, he's main tank. I want Evil Knight to mainly tank. Um, yep, good. So we have two pair. And we're econ by doing that sale. And should I sell and put in something else? Eh. No, because I'm lose streaking. So if I would have switched in, I would have put in a light blade knight, so I have two of them. And then if I win, and once again, minion rounds next round, so I don't want to lose my two game lose streak going into a minion round, if that makes sense. Um, and uh, that was a little harder. I was hoping I would kill one more thing, but that's okay. Um, once we start to win, we'll start to win pretty heavily. Okay, Glacier Knight is not as good from behind. So unless I get really lucky and hit a um, Berserker like right away, I'm probably not going to go towards Glacier. I'm probably going to try to get Dragon. Great. Nice upgrade. Golems. Okay, every time I think I'm okay with Golems, I end up being upset. So I'm not going to get the interest anyway, so I am going to level so that I can throw in extra damage. Because like I said, nothing, nothing tilts you like losing your... Um, Losing to minions is is not happy times. But anyways, we have our two gold lose streak, so that's good. It's wonderful how well and detailed you explain things. Uh, doppel, whoa, dop, doppel, doppel wrath, dop, doppler wrath. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's a name. It, it sounds like a name from like something, but I'm not sure how to read it. But yeah, thank you. I, I try my best to explain. And it, it, by the way, if people lurking, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, like, my true joy is sharing knowledge, in all honesty. So, um, when people ask questions, I feel good because I can answer questions and, you know, just get that interaction with everybody. So, don't be shy. If you see me do something, or if one of my explanations doesn't make sense, please ask for me to clarify, and I will very happily do it. 
Um, put it on there, and yeah, once again. My main tank is going to end up being Evil Knight, so I'm actually going to stack regen on him. Um, yeah. And I didn't buy anything else. Like, I could buy the Defector, but I already have him at two stars. I could buy the Light Blade, but I already have her at two stars, so I don't want to mess up my economy. But say, if I'm going to lose this round, I will buy the Light Blade at the last moment. Um, and it looks like, yeah, this double divinity is rough. Oh, alt. Get your alt off. Alt, true damage. Yes. Woo. Oh my gosh, if I don't kill that source, I'm going to cry. Yes, thank you. Okay. Woo. Woo, baby. Oh, oh my gosh, that was so clutch. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Ooh, this game, man, I'm telling you. It's like you have no control over what the units do, but man, it, it can pucker your butthole real quickly. Uh, okay. Uh, me, uh, me. Okay, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna wonder in your heart, why in hell would you do that? Because he's good damage, garbage damage, garbage damage, garbage damage. I already have four knights, doesn't bring a synergy. I already, this would give me Glacier, I guess, but I don't, I mean, garbage one star, garbage one star. Um, yeah, I, and now that I won, I want to win right? <laughs> if I still was on a lose streak, I would have put one of them in and just econed up by not buying him, but now that I'm winning, I want to win, so. And I have nice upgrades, so that's good. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Yeah, see, so we're dominating, but that's that's second to last place, so that's not a big deal, but anyways, let's look. So, we have four two-stars, and remember, rule of thumb, four two-stars is going to do pretty good for you through wolves. Um, so all the way up to wolves, four two stars is you're probably pretty damn happy with. So, and two more rounds to wolves, so hopefully we can build this win streak to a two gold win streak. Wait, no, we can't build it to two gold, because this round we win will, is still one. Next next time we, we need to play two more heroes, two more humans to get a two gold win streak, but the, the second game will be against the wolves already. Um, also, the other good thing is if you're at if you're at six heroes with two uh, with four two star heroes, uh, you should beat the wolves. Uh, there's very like your your synergy or your quality of two stars would have to be very very bad for you not to beat the wolves if you have four two stars. Is Evil Knight more of a tank over Hell Knight? Uh, I've always treated Hell Knight. Oh no, Hell Knight is definitely more of the damage. That's a great question. And yeah, um, okay, wait a second. Let me position this real quick. Okay, so now, now I can get rid of him because I can switch in Berserker. This will be in against a human. We have the buff, so now we probably are heading towards the Berserker. Okay, so let me show you why. So he has 1,400 health with 5 armor, okay? Hell Knight. Whereas he has 1,500 health with 10 armor. And notice I haven't given Evil Knight armor. You see what I'm saying? Neither of them I gave armor. So Evil Knight just has double the base armor, and he has higher health. So when you're looking at a tank, what you really... It, if, a, it, if I tell you a hero is a good tank, what I'm really saying is I'm saying their ratio of health and armor is good. It, it, does that make sense, Dope? And I'm going to call you Dope if you don't mind. Um, so ho hopefully that answer teaches you how to look at it yourself in the future. That, that, that's why I'm answering that way. But moral of the story, I would not treat uh, Hell Knight as a tank. He is damage. If you look at the DPS meter, right, he's topping my DPS meter. Hell Knight is very, very much a tank, uh, or very much a DPS. And same with Argali. See, even Argali has 10 armor. That's why he's your secondary tank. So for tank one, tank two. Um. Okay, so I'm going Glacier now. So I don't need the Baby Dragon. That's good because it lets me kind of econ up. Um, I'm trying to get to 50 gold now so that I can start leveling up to 8. I need to get to level 8 to have my true synergy going on, which is my um, knight with... Oh, oh my god, I didn't reposition. Fail. Um, yes, it makes sense. Thank you. Okay, good. Dope. Um, and what I was... There's another note I was going to tell you about something, and I totally blanked out on what it was. Um, how to do that. Oh, I was going to tell you, are you familiar with the, the concept of effective health? So when you look at armor, to me, the best way to model it, the best way to, conce to conceptualize what armor is, is you're looking at how much effective health it gives you, okay? So I'll give you a very basic example. If you have a hero with 1,000 health and you give them 5 armor, 
right? You're effectively giving them uh, 300 extra health. The reason for that is when they take damage, they are going to take, um, wait, one, sorry, one second. Uh, I don't need any of that. I don't need that. I can't econ anyways. Um, okay, yeah, we'll just sit there. Okay, so the reason why is because the way armor uses is armor is converted into damage mitigation. Okay, so it just means like if you take if you should take 10 damage, you'll only take 8 damage because you have 20% damage mitigation. Hopefully that makes sense. I might be making this kind of hard to follow. But so really what you're saying when you look at armor is you're saying, okay, if I have if I have 10 armor on my uh, evil knight per thousand health, I'm giving him 300 extra health. So if we look at Hell Knight, he has 1400 health with five armor. So the five armor per thousand health is about 300 effective health, right? So you could look at Hell Knight and say, effectively, the enemies have to do about 1800 damage to him to kill him. Um, put that, put that. And in this case, I think we just go for a second Berserker, to be honest. Uh, yeah, because he only gets me to six. He doesn't, yeah, yeah, we go for the second Berserker. Putting that on Berserker, um, you saw last game why. Um, I will show you. Hell Knight already has it. Uh, okay, I don't want to put this on... You can only have one debuff item per hero, and I don't want to put um, magic debuff onto my uh, uh, attack damage carries. So I'm, I'll put give that to my Frost Knight when I put him in finally. Um, was it? Sorry, effective health. Okay, so anyways, so Hell Knight effectively has about 1800 health. So, and then if you look at Evil Knight, he has 1500 health and he has 10 armor. Well, base armor he has 10. So, so him, he's getting about, what, an extra... Okay, wait a second, grab that. Um, go to 8 or reroll. Mm. No, let's go to 8. I need to get him, but I also need to get them anyway, so I'm, I'm just going to go to 8. And I'm not having issues losing, so we're, we're okay right now. Okay, so anyways. So 10 armor, 1,500 health. So for the first 1,000, he has about 600 extra health. And then the 500, he has about another 300. So he gets 900 extra health out of his armor, effectively. So his effective health is 2,400, right? So... That's how big of a difference it makes. We're talking about 1,800 health effectively versus 2,400 effective health. So that is the impact of armor. Armor has a huge impact on how much uh, a hero can tank. So anyways, that's the very long answer. I, I assume some of you just want the simple, and I gave you the simple answer, but for those of you who really want to dig into it, there there's the long-winded answer also. First place crushed me. Let's see why did first place crush me. First place, lots of quality, really me messy comp. So any, okay, yeah, I'm not worried about him long term. He he, long term is not scary because I, I'm not even sure what he's trying to go for. I guess he's going for demon, demon witchers. So he's probably looking for a doom. So he'll probably go warrior, demon witcher. And I don't care about silence as glacier. I don't really, the pirate, I mean the CC will suck, but yeah, not scary. Also, three warrior is barely any armor, so I'm going to crush through him, so. He's not scary. Long term, he's not scary. He's just ahead of me right now, which is fine. Um, and yeah, he's also a level ahead of me, but his economy is garbage, so I should be able to catch up to him given time. Um, and hopefully we can keep this win streak going, which, yeah, we, I, think, I think we should. And we're about to be to eight which will let us get in our full glacier. So then my team's really going to look scary. And what's funny about the glacier buff is the... And here, wait, let's... Let me adjust this real quick before we go too much into it. Let's do this. Frost Knight. There we go. And... So Hell Knight... You can see Hell Knight's DPS and Light Blade's Knight DPS go crazy when you get Glacier. It's funny because like Berserker you would think is going to be your major damage carry, but as soon as you get the 4 Glacier, it's actually some of your other units can do sickening damage. And at 8, we reroll. Um, at 9, I'm looking for probably... I have a few options I can introduce at 9. Um, probably one of my favorite ones is Soul Reaper. See, like this, this armor strip or this magic damage stripping is not really impactful uh, 
for my heroes, but it's okay. Uh, so there's that. I only need to take Frost Knight to two star. I'm, I don't care. Otherwise, same thing with Defector. They're not quality units. Nice. Hell Knight, I want to get to three star. I will be so happy to get him to three star. Uh, I don't normally try to target my um, three cost to three star until I... There we go. Oh my god. This is... This is beautiful so beautiful um okay so i need our golly i need one more him so there's not too much more i need Ooh, dragon thank you okay so bam there we go okay now we can get to six knights so now i go to level nine like i was saying at level nine what i'm targeting is a soul reaper because that gives me the agaris and i strip the enemy's armor or dragon knight because that gives me six knights and that just makes me extra extra tanky and for Glacier Knights, you just want to be really tanky so that um, basically the enemy... So so your Berserker and your Light Blade just have time to chunk down the enemy team. Um, so now I want to go to 9. I really want to go to 9 because I want to get in my uh, 6 Knights. So actually I'm going to I'm gonna transition back to a mindset of, um, of leveling. By the way, Dragon Knight... In Glacier Knights can do sick damage, especially if you get a Mana Crystal on Dragon Knight. The reason for that is the attack speed being so fast lets Dragon Knight do sick damage once it's in Dragon Form. So the key is getting it in Dragon Form, and the way to get it in Dragon Form is get a Mana uh, Crystal onto it. And not get Silence, but it's okay. Oh, by the way, Dragon Knight is a good tank. The reason I switched it in is, if you notice, 800 health, 10 armor. And if we look at Argali, 700 health, 10 armor, right? So... Dragon Knight has that extra 100 health. And like we just discussed, it's more than 100 health uh, because the armor, the way the armor works. I can say to you, I want to rock. Um, Glacier. Glacier Knights is very good front running. Um, you can... Because you, you have good options at level 9, you have good options at 10, so once you get that lead, once you start pushing, you can just, like, push. And it just crushes through things. Um, and I like to be aggressive with it, because later, if, if you let people catch up to you quality-wise, like, they get equal with you on stars, they get equal with you on level, um, Glacier can start to fall off, it can start to be beaten by things, but when you're ahead, Glacier will stomp, like, stomp people. And really the thing I would worry about, uh, most would probably be Feather in the IXC. This person's still too close to me, unfortunately. Um, and actually this person might have got ahead of me, I think. No? Interesting. I'm surprised, to be honest. Tanks. That's... I want to say that's RNG. What the heck's hap- Oh god. My game froze. Not good. What's happening? No! What? Uh-oh. Wait, what? Uh, what the heck? Game. Not cool. Oh my god. No! No, this is my king promotion and I'm so ahead. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! No! Why? Oh my god, why? Oh, please, no. Game, don't do this to me. Oh my gosh. The game's just like, you will never hit. No, you. we don't want you to be King 3, Chaos Squirrel. Oh my god, what is this? Oh man, rip. Okay, hurry, please. Good. Thankfully, I'm going to lose my... I, I already lost my streak, and thankfully my comp, I think, can hang in there. And I was leveling anyways, so sa saving the gold, I guess, won't kill me. Hopefully I didn't miss too many rounds, that's the thing. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. The, the other problem was, uh, if you notice, almost everybody in the game's health was very low. So they were... Uh, whoa, okay, okay. Level, and let's put him in for six knights. Cool. Go like that. And... Oh, that would have been so sad. I can't even express the sadness that I would feel from that. Okay. Now we're hitting the point where, eh, may, you know, maybe. Oh, I still need him, but it's okay. Oh, that was, wow. That, okay, I think other people might be having that too, because I just saw the top, the other top person flicker on and off. So, okay, I'm first one to nine, and I'm probably, other people may not even make it to nine, to be honest. Because um, their economies, they're already having to reroll just to stay alive. Because, yeah, if you look, everybody, 
it's only me and the other person who are above 30 health, so. And see, like that. But I, I decide to go for the dragon. But if I go to 10, which I might actually do, we can do that. Do that. No, goodbye. Goodbye. I put priority and gain two stars, um, getting my two cost units to three star. So that's why I'm picking up Light Blade over the Hell Knight. Um, nice. Give magic resistance. And yeah, Argali. Why is Argali being such an issue? And also, I, I, now I wish, I'm almost tempted to sell my Argali if I get another one, because if I could get that, um, Dragon Knight does magic damage. So if I can give Dragon Knight, uh, where is my Argali Knight? Uh, I don't know where my Argali is. Okay, Feather is a counter to me, so that's fine if I lose this. Hopefully this person's gonna die to other people. Because like we said, we are ahead in health. Just get kills, don't take too much damage, that's good. So what is this, 10, 4, 2, 8... 9 damage, I think? Or no, 10, because it's 9. Okay, guys. The panda always counts weirdly to me. But anyways. Um, okay. Ooh, that's 4th place. He might not get killed, which will be kind of a problem for me. That means I need to build a big lead. Um, okay, anyways. Uh, look through. I will put in other berserkers, too. That is that is legit option. Mm, okay, no, we stay there. Uh, Light Blade's not worth going. Uh, what I was saying is this item, which strips 100% magic resistance, is great on Dragon Knight because um, Dragon Knight does magic damage when once in Dragon form. So that can really lift Dragon Knight's damage. Like, almost double Dragon Knight's damage as a hard example. Great, we got the sil Clutch Silence off on the Legendary uh, Mage. Nice. We have our shields up, so yeah, we're good. Our shields are up. Great. Okay. Ooh, people are starting to beat us. I think our tempo got thrown off. Gained to nine. We're still the only one with economy. It's kind of because I'm going for three and going for other things. And my Argali is killing me, the fact that I can't get him leveled up. Oh, thank you. And actually, I'm going to keep rolling, interestingly, because of what we talked about. If I can get one more... Like that, perfect. Sell him. Do that, do that, right? And now, there we go, perfect. And now I can also get the regen on her. So hopefully what I did just made sense to everybody. Uh, the entire purpose I did that was to get that item that I talked about onto my Dragon Knight. And, oh, okay, I'm gonna switch my position. A lot of people, so normally I put the Dragon Knight there because a lot of people position in the top right. Unfortunately, this game, people keep, they're positioning in the top left, which is strange. It's, it's not normal. Tip it's not typical. Um, oh man, that, just get kills, get kills. There we go. I actually, winning is good, but I'm okay even if I can just get a decent amount of kills and not take too much damage. Um, everybody's killing everybody, so it's going to come down to who, who dies slower but three star hell knight's gonna really really help me and my dragon i think perfection great beautiful 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 um okay i think i focus on going to 10 now um yeah and i was going to say let's go like this uh the, the only reason for this is what's going to happen if they're in the left is my Dragon Knight's going to come over slower and my Defector will take some aggro first, so my my Dragon Knight won't just get melted. But by the way, 1400 health versus the 4. So Dragon Knight is actually uh, the most tanky knight. So see, Evil Knight is 1500 health, 10 armor. Dragon Knight is 1600 and 10 armor. So Dragon Knight is the most damaging, but also... what? Wow, melt, what the heck? Because my Dragon Knight didn't have her shield up. But anyways, we talked about 3-star Hell Knight. 3-star Hell Knight is so strong. But, yeah. So, the Feather. Okay, cool. We're beating the Feather now, yeah. As a Feather player, I know that a 3-star Hell Knight is my worst nightmare. Um. Okay, we're going for that. I was talking about leveling to 10 because I can put in more quality than people. This is Thunderhide, so I'm just staying where I am. And I don't think other people can make it to 10. Maybe the top person can. Uh, Divinity Mage made it to the top. That's unfortunate. Because Divinity Mage... Divinity Mage, I do want more people, actually. So that I can melt them down. 
Oh, he's rough, because that three-star God of War is just going to be really hard for me. Hmm. I would love a Flash Dagger against the Divinity Mage, because I can flash my Dragon Knight to the back line because he is so tanky. And then things can get really disgusting very quickly. Uh, what is this? Hell Knight put it on, or... Actually, that's that's not bad on... Hell... Okay, what is... On who? Oh, nice, beautiful. Like we said, mana, mana regen, right? So in that case, then I will put this onto my... And I want the damage item. I don't care about the magic stripping. Um... Yeah, actually, I was thinking of waiting on curve, but I'm not going to. Like, my health really matters right now. There we go. Okay, and yep, just in time to fight this mage. Good, my Dragon Knight's on the Assassins, which should help me. Unfortunately, Silence, so he can't turn into a dragon. Oh my gosh, these back-to-back -back Silences are super annoying, but okay. I think I'm going to need to spread against this person, basically. Yeah, I'm going to have to spread out. So 10 damage. He's killing the other people, and I, the you person I just destroyed. Um... So if I could get a Dragon Knight or a Berserker, another one in the game, I'm very happy. I'm rolling down. This game could easily end. If you guys watch my YouTube uh, from yesterday, you can see how quickly these games can end. Um, okay, so one away and one away from that and one away from Berserker, which is good. If I get her to three star and then I get another Berserker to take her place, that's perfect. And I think I might spread out my build, actually, because I'm fighting a lot of mages. So Glacier is totally fine to split, and I'll show you what I mean by splitting after this. Oh my gosh, my knight's RNG is wrecking me. Like, my Dragon Knight keeps not having its knight shield up, so that is not fortunate, but anyways. Cool, we crush that person. Ugh, these games are always stressful because it's like just one loss can crush you, so it's like I just want these people to die, you know? And I've had times where I'm beating everybody except one person, and then, you know, I I get fourth place instead. Okay, there we go. And like I was saying, we can actually split. Actually, I don't want too much value on the same sides of the map. Let's go like this. Uh, Anti-AoE. And the only people I'm worried... Yeah, see? So like this. This should help me. The engagement pattern should be a lot better. And if you know... Yeah, we catch the assassins differently. We're spacing. My dragon made it into dragon form, which is good. I don't know... I'm getting stun-locked, unfortunately. No! Oh, see? Like that. And that's just unfortunate. Like, I keep fighting the one person who beats me out of all this. And somehow this guy's not fighting me, and I'm pretty sure I crush him. Um, okay. Dragon. Oh! I'm one away from the dragon and one away from the berserker. This is... Okay, dragon's doing actually a lot more, so let's go like this. I'm gonna risk it just because I need to... We're, we're at that point where it's like now or never. Nope, okay. Um, maybe I should move her middle like this. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, cool. I'm fighting him. Yay. Okay, if I don't beat him, I'm fine if I lose then. But this person we've been beating, but he got a Devastator also now. So, okay, it looks like we're beating him. Yeah, see? And we stomp on this person. So literally that person just kept dodging us, and that's why they're being safe. And, like, if I would have got third or fourth place, I would have been so upset. How's that for RNG? Much, that round was much better. That Now I'm happy. I'm, I'm okay getting second, but... Yeah, this divinity is just going to be... I'm not really sure what I can do. These His his double silence are crushing me. Um, maybe I aggro into him. That might be what I need to do, is scoot forward and just aggro into him. So... And he has an egg. He's trying to get that. Um... Oh, but he... Wait, what? What did he... Did he just make a three-star... Oh, that was a bad move. I disagree with that. Nice. I, that might let me beat him. Because his double silence was crushing me. And he, I think he actually hurt his his team's damage by combining it. 
three stars are not always the best thing. Uh, just keep that in mind. Like that is, it, it, it is not always the case. Dragon, dragon. Nope. Okay. Uh, probably on my three star in this case. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go for a different way, which is just smash into them and try to aggro on the uh, assassins with these guys. Let's see if this works. Okay, this is looking a lot better. See, one silence. So if I can live through it, because before, and that silence, man, this shiny assassin is wrecking me. Oh my god. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yes. Okay, from he beat me from his his screen though, but that's okay. Okay, uh, I think I can adjust my formation, and if I can get another dragon, no, ooh, dark spirit. I think I take that because, yeah, I think I take that. To be honest, I don't know why my hell knight dropped back. To deal with the assassin, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring these back to deal with so my uh, other stuff is not getting distracted, because the the um, assassins were distracting my backline for some reason. Okay, good spirit. No, he got silenced. No, I intentionally put him there so he wouldn't get hit by the silence. I was trying to spread him off from the main group, but I, apparently I didn't spread him enough. Ah, oh, rip. Oh well. Oh well, we tried. But divinities, if you let them get if you let them get late game, you're it's gonna be in a rough spot. Uh, that person just got lucky. They were very behind, and then they hit a uh, Zeus, and all of a sudden they were good to go. Yay, King Three, we made it. Woo. Okay, good. I was I was I was gonna be very sad if I got like ten points and I was too short. So, anyways, we hit King Three. Nice. My my stream goal is hit for today. So now we keep the grind going though. Oh, I thought. I thought I moved my Dark Spirit over enough. I should have moved even, I guess, like, the other side of the map, maybe. Because actually exactly what I wanted to happen happened. The Assassins jumped on the Dark Spirit, built its mana up to 100, but then it got it happened to get silenced right at that time, so it didn't ultimate, which was very unfortunate. Oh well. But anyway, so that's that. Let's synergy, just in case people care. I'm just showing this, so 